is it Joseph in a screencast you'll be installing PHP MySQL and Apache all in one with one simple piece of software it's called XAMPP so let's go ahead and continue the screencast alright now we are in screencast mode um, the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and download XAMPP so go to apachefriends.org it's right here in my browser apachefriends.org and we are not going to select the beta version but the actual release versions and the one I'm going to download is for Windows as you can see there's several formats or devo, several releases for different um, operating systems and we'll go ahead and download the light version um, downloading the light version because all I need is PHP Apache and MySQL and that's what it gives me and it's a lot smaller than the actual version so I'm going to go ahead and download the 7zip.exe it's going to ask me to download it, I'm going to hit save I already have it saved so then once you have it saved go ahead and open your file you can extract it wherever you want but I'm just going to go ahead and keep it at my C drive and you don't need to put anything here it will automatically extract to uh, XAMPP light folder directory so then you go ahead and hit extract and then it will extract it so now I already have it extracted the first thing I'm going to go ahead and do is, as you can see, I navigate it to where it extracted to the C dot, I mean, slash uh, XAMP light. And I'm going to go ahead and select or execute my XAMP control dot exe. Let's go ahead and select, um, start Apache. And it says it's running. And then we're going to go ahead and start MySQL. And now it says that's running. So now everything is good and ready to go. Um, the test if it's running, you can actually hit X because it'll minimize your taskbar. And uh, we'll leave the XAMPP folder right here for now. Let's go ahead and get a new tab open. Let's go ahead and go to localhost. So just type that into your browser. And then you should get. If you did correctly install it, it should redirect you to this right here, XAMPP Splash. And then it has some nice little graphic here. Um, and then you can select whatever language you want. Basically, when you select a language, it gives you some, some documentation on, on a few things that it includes. And um, that's pretty much it. And then the tools it comes with. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you a little bit about PHPMyAdmin and Webulizer um, later on. But now you basically know you have PHP, Apache, and MySQL running on your computer. So you can do all the tests you want without actually having to purchase a server. Um, that's pretty much it for the screencast.